help me, Professor... Kokonoe? Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off! <sighs> Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Huh? Hey, what are you looking around for? You're making me nervous. The hell is this place? This is a counseling room. When your soul screams for solace, it calls to me, and this room takes form in the boundary for a little while. Now, tell me all your problems. What the hell was that supposed to mean? Why am I here? Just a minute ago, I was in Kagutsuchi's... Ah, yes. You just destroyed Kagutsuchi. It's all gone. Well, I guess that's not strictly true. Actually, you destroyed the entire planet. Now it can't be sold. Who the hell's buying? What are you talking about? Uh, if I try to explain all that crap, we'll be here forever. Besides, they should probably explain that in the actual game, not here. Anyway, you failed. Failed? Oh yeah, at the end there was this black mist started spreading and... Ah, so you do remember a little bit. Good. I was just about to shed a single tear and say something along the lines of how unfortunate. His memory is shot and he's still so young. But you just said it! When the hell did you become so straightforward? I remember you being all cryptic and enigmatic and shit. Well, once you go back to the real world, you're gonna forget all of this. So, character traits, relationships, that crap, doesn't mean anything. Were you born being able to spout gibberish, or was it something you learned? I'm the main character, and yet again, I get left in the dark. It's really starting to piss me off! Shut up! Just shut up! Fine, I'll just give you a little medicine to... Uh, calm you down. Yes. Stop it! I don't like needles! Anyway... Weren't you just going on about a counseling room earlier? Oh, right. Almost lost my focus there. Nothing good comes of being around idiots. Anyway, I'm giving out advice so you can find your way to the true ending. Stupid is as stupid does. That, and you just said we'd forget everything once we move on. So any advice you'd give would be meaningless. <laughs> now who's the idiot? Ow! Hey, stop! You blow my dicks! Don't try and think about this, Ragna. Your brain cell can't handle the strain. Your big friend on the other side of the monitor will just remember all of this for you. Isn't that convenient? Ow! You bitch! Anyway, do you know why you're here? Rachel must have told you something. The rabbit? Oh, yeah. I think it was, do not mistake the power of the Azure as your own. Or some crap like that. You don't look much like her, and the delivery's off. Screw you, I got the gist of it. So what about it? Damn, you're an idiot. You know, in a game like this, it's kind of important to the plot to listen to people's warnings. Really? You're practically a walking dead man. I bet you're thinking that as long as you act like a badass and spout cheesy crap like, what did you say? You're just gonna get away with it, right? Right? Uh, well, I, I mean, maybe a little. Okay, so basically you're saying that I need to pay more attention to what Rachel and my master tell me, right? That's right. If you rely too much on the dark power of the Azure, you're gonna die. That's just a given for anyone who's gifted. Really? I'm not quite sure I get it, but I'll be sure to be more careful in the future. 
Well, I guess I'll be on my way then. Good. Don't come here anymore. Honestly, your story is pretty straightforward. I'm not really sure how you managed to cock it up, but just stay focused this time and it should be gravy. Oh, right. You don't have to lose on purpose to get 100% completion. I guess that really pissed people off last time. Well, okay, full disclosure. There are some story paths for certain characters that won't open up unless you die. That's it. Promise. Okay, okay, I get it. So I guess that's it for episode one. What? Too much exposition? Oh, bite me. It's the first episode. We have to get some of the stuff out of the way. Jeez. Anyway, I'm sure we'll meet again, if fate wills it so. See you later. Help me, Professor Kokonoa! in an enthralling and exhilarating moment of... Damn, you just dive straight into the creepy, don't you? Who in the hell are you? Why did you summon me to this place? Let me out of here, this instant! Uh, no. And stop talking like Hakuman. Hakuman? What are you talking about? Never mind. I think I'll just kill you instead. Hmm, interesting. I guess your fight-or-flight response is just fight or fight, huh? Well, unfortunately for you, if you kill me, you'll never get out of here. In fact, you'll just wander around this world for eternity. So, unless you listen to my advice, you'll never leave. Advice? You give me advice? Ha! That's nonsense! Aren't you paying attention? You have to listen to me, or you'll never... Shut up! Yukiyana-san! Whoa, whoa, that's cold. Put that thing away. <laughs> Freeze! Behold my secret technique that surpasses even the deepest depths of hell. Eternal force! Uh, fine. Here's my final weapons. Anti-Jin Kisaragi core unit. Brother Ragna! Huh? Where the hell am I? Hey, protagonist. This guy is pissing me off. You can take care of him, right? Hey, what was that? Oh, God, it's Jin. Hell no, dealing with him is a serious pain in the ass. Yes, exactly. And now he's a pain in your ass. Why me? Hey, wait! Brother! <gasps> oh, brother! Oh, God damn it, Jin! Stay the hell away from me! No, 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 no! Get off my back! Way to go, Brother Ragna! What? No, screw this! Hey, brother! Just forget all about that nasty woman and have fun with me! Whoa, what the hell's going on with this room? Hey, Kokonoe! Are you doing this? Ragna, Mommy's gotta run some errands really quick, so why don't you two spend some quality time together? <laughs> hey, wait! Why are you treating me like a son who's brought a girl over for the first time? Brother... <laughs> Jen, stop whispering in my ear! Well, now that she's out of the way... <laughs> oh, brother! <laughs> um, uh, Miss Kokonoe, I wholeheartedly apologize. Please, if you could share your advice with him. Huh? You two done already? I've... I've had enough of just about everything. Whatever do you mean, brother? We've only just begun. 
Help me, Professor Kokonoi. Very well. Honestly, my advice here is pretty simple. Don't lose. That's it. Finally, I can go home. Oh, wait, brother! <sighs> that thing is supposed to become a legendary hero? What is the world coming to? I've been taken somewhere without light. The only thing that gives me hope is that someday my prince will come. In Spain, they'd say, El Delfín está en el jacuzzi. Oh, what will my knight in shining armor look like? Will they be wearing a hat? Will they shine like the sun? No, that's not right. Mr. Flower? Mr. Flower, do you know what my prince will look like? You wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> Mr. Flower, you smell so good. I can always count on you to raise my spirits. In fact, I feel I can trust you. So let me tell you what my prince will look like. But you have to promise not to tell anyone else, okay? The one who will save me? He will arrive astride a mighty white stallion, and his beauty will rival that of nature itself! <laughs> uh... no. Uh, where am I? I was just thinking about what my next poem should be about, and I end up here! Why am I here? What's going on? Well, we can be confused together. Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Uh, did you hear any of that? Yep, that's what I have ears for. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Never mind. So, I'm guessing you got the bad ending again, right? Bad ending? What's that? It's part of the whole multi-ending thing. Oh, the bad ending. Maybe I should just disappear. I really worry about you, you know. What? Really? I mean, you're a pretty important character. I guess you're kind of the heroine. Anyway, if you slack off even a little bit, you'll die like that. That's just mean. Hey, I don't write the rules, kid. To be honest, I'm pretty surprised you got this far. I mean, mathematically, it's pretty much impossible. You, you don't need to go that far. Then, then what are the chances of me surviving? Hmm... Impossible. What? Of course, if I tell you that, then what's the point of this counseling room? Hmm... You know how someone tried really hard to save you? The person who tried to save me? Uh, yeah. You know, ears, tails, eye patch. I don't know how he does it, but it walks around on his hind legs. Come on, goddammit, don't make me spell it out for you. Oh, you must be talking about Mr. Jubei. Yes, him. He gave you some advice, right? Well, it chafes my ass to say it. But he's really kind of an ultimate being. He's pretty damn amazing. I hate his guts, but... Anyway, so long as you listen to him, you'll be okay. Like I said, I hate him myself, but... If he tells you to go after Jin, you go after Jin and don't screw around, alright? Still, I hate the son of a bitch. Um... So basically you mean... You haven't heard a word I said, have you? That's not true. I was listening. So basically, I mean, to sum it up, you really
really, really don't like Mr. Jubei much, right? Are you sure? Y yes. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Wrong! Idiot! But, but, you said the same thing twice! That means it had to be something important! Whatever. Let's just move on, shall we? All I'm trying to say is that you need to listen to what other people tell you. You're the kind of character that just dies immediately if she takes the wrong path. So pay close attention to what other people tell you to do and choose the safest path. Uh, okay. All right. If you understand, then get out of here. You've got a strong drive attack. People can't beat you just by mashing buttons. If that doesn't work for you, just hit the taunt button when battle starts. I think that'll pump your heat gauge up to the max. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, um... Huh? You're still here? What's up? Uh, um, I mean... Professor Kokonoe, I... I... I think I... like you. Uh, thanks, but I'm not interested. No! I didn't mean it in that way! When I'm with Tsubaki or Makoto, or especially Miss Lychee, I always feel like I'm... the odd one out. What? But when I'm with you, I feel like I belong. It's like we're comrades in arms or something. It's... um... I feel like we share a special bond. Uh... Get out of here! So she's supposed to be the heroine, huh? I guess times have changed. Kokonoe, I require your assistance. What are you doing, Kokonoe? Your damn roses stink! You're gonna make my whole lab smell like roses! Oh, have you not heard? The scent of roses is good for one's skin and relieves stress. Yeah, that's if it's just a little bit. I think you might want to check on what that amount is. I despise coffee, Kokonoe. Do make some tea. Selfish as usual. All I have are tea packets. Tiba? Ugh, oh, look. Don't go there, okay? You can't even do that in this game. Oh, then what is a, um, tea packet? You have no idea what I'm talking about. No, I do not. I would thank you to explain it post-haste. Ugh, that's it! I've had enough of your aristocratic bullshit! You want tea? You can chew on the leaves in the packet! Such poor service. Dear me, your conduct is rather unbecoming of a lady. No matter. Valkenhain? Yes, milady? Don't yes, milady me! How the hell did you get in here? It is my sole purpose to appear wherever Madam Rachel sees fit to summon me. That's not what I was asking! Have you no fine chairs? You really must invest in some. Nago, Guy. I require a chair and cushion. Of course. On it! Now, please explain. Why am I here? This is a counseling room. People show up here after they got a bad ending, like you, and I give them advice. Nonsense. I need no advice. <laughs> well, you're not one to beat around the bush, are you? Still, unless you listen to my advice, you'll never be able to get out of here. Oh my, is that so? Then I suppose I will humor you. I have a rather good grasp of what all of this is about, but I suppose it is conceivable that your advice could assist me in some small way. Now, what do you believe that I have done wrong? Well, let's see. You remember the part where I yelled at you? Ah, yes. I felt that was a branching point. 
However, I did what was required of myself as a bystander. Mr. Hero is the one to blame. Yeah. Let's not get into that right now. Long story short, you need to be more calm. Is that so? You're just a bystander. You really shouldn't be fighting Terami yourself. Interesting. I wonder why I felt such speed was necessary. Romantic comedy, perhaps? Maybe you wanted to be the girl who rushes to the airport to catch her boyfriend before he leaves the country. That is an outrageous notion. Make such a joke again and I shall convert this entire room into an impromptu rose garden. Yeah, I have a feeling you just might go through with that. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Then you would be wise to choose your words with more care. Okay, okay. Changing subjects. Where are you headed attribute-wise? Attribute? You mean fire, water, lightning, and so on? Oh, no, no, no. Not magic. I mean more like personality-wise. Your character attributes. I've no idea. I don't give much thought to such pedestrian things. I think you're going for the mean on the outside, nice on the inside deal. Problem with that is, you're 100% mean. I'm afraid you've lost me. Are you suggesting I should be nicer? Do you think you can? There is little I cannot do. Oh, really? Impressive. How about you show me? Oh, well, one moment. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Uh... No. That's wrong. I feel tired. Well, I guess you just can't manage nice. It is of little consequence. At any rate, you are scarcely in a position to be lecturing me on kindness. That's not true. I'm nice to my subordinates from time to time. Huh? You? Nice? <laughs> That's a scary thought. I too am nice to my subjects from time to time. Huh? You? Nice? That's a scary thought. Ah! Oh. I suppose this has been an acceptable break from my usual tedium. Really? So you're leaving? Indeed. I shall see you in the world beyond. Ah, oh, it stinks in here. I guess she decided to leave some of her rose stench behind. Man, why does everyone who comes in here have to make such a mess? Damn it! Tager! Hey, Tager! Get in here and clean this up! Teach me, um, tail lady? Right? That's right, Meow! Tao's full name is Tao Kaka! Oh, right. So what are you here for? Hmm? Uh, good question. Why is Tao here? Uh, you're here because you want to ask me something, right? Oh, yeah! Someone told me that when I got here, I should ask this! All right, who was that someone? And what did they tell you to ask? Um, let me see... Since I've already seen the CG stuff for the normal ending, I should try to get the true ending, meow! At least that's what it says on this card. Hmm... I think his name on Blaze Blue Radio is Mr. I Love to Skip. You got me! Whatever. Alright, Taokaka. My advice to you is that you shouldn't just go wherever you feel like going because you're curious. Why, meow? You need to grow up, I guess. I mean, you can't be a little girl forever, can you? Ho-ho! Tao gets it now! A little girl? That sounds absolutely yummy! So what does Tao have to do? Don't say that you think little girls are yummy. People are gonna get the wrong idea. 
Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that you need to stick to Ragna like glue. Meow! So I need to follow good guy? Wasn't that your plan to begin with? Actually, it totally slipped Tao's mind. Well, I think I've said this before, but... You've got a tendency to completely forget what you're doing. Do that and you'll die, so be careful. I see. Um, tail lady? Bored already, huh? What's up? What are you licking right now? This? It's just Silvervine candy. Tao wants one too! This? I can't give you one in the game, but I guess you can have one here. Have fun with it. Thanks! <coughs> like it? Mm. Huh? Something wrong? Tail lady? What? <coughs> no. I mean, Professor Kokonoe? What the hell? I beg you to forgive the rudeness and total lack of respect that I have regrettably shown you throughout the series. I, Tawakaka, am truly ashamed of my infantile behavior. It was truly reprehensible. What is this? Why are you talking like that? Are you trying to change your image? Just stop it. You're not going to be able to do it. I understand. I know all too well that I am not fit to be the heroine of any story, let alone this one. However, a question does fester within my brain, a veritable canker of the soul. Why is it that the heroine and you, who has her own section, why are you so memory deficient? Whoa! How about you keep those little observations to yourself, okay? Damn! What's wrong? <clears throat> Chow! Hey! What the hell? Her head's exploding! <gasps> Meow! <gasps> that candy was awesome! What's wrong, tail lady? Huh? You're back. You don't remember anything, do you? What are you talking about? I felt like my mind was aglow with whirling, transient nodes of thought careening through a cosmic vapor of invention. But it must have just been Tao's imagination. I... I see. Tao's going bye-bye now. Thanks for the candy, Tail Lady. Uh, okay. Be careful out there. I had no idea this would have that kind of effect on someone from the Kaka clan. Silverline candy, it's dangerous. I... I guess I should destroy it. Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Welcome back to our programs for unfortunate individuals who only get the normal ending. It's time for Help Me, Professor Kokonoe. Hello. Hello. Why are we starting this episode like this? I thought we'd spice things up a little. Our viewers would get bored with the same thing over and over. Besides, you didn't seem to have a problem with it. Only because I didn't realize what was going on. How long are you planning on talking like a reporter? Well, I thought people were probably sick of how we talk to each other in the main story, so I'll just be nice and perky like this for your episode. <laughs> oh, are you trying to change your image? It doesn't suit you. According to my data, your personality is completely incompatible with this new character you're trying to be. Then, I shall delete that data at a later date. <laughs> now, Mr. Tager, about your death. The life was beaten completely out of you. Oh. Well, you certainly don't waste any time, do you? I felt sorry watching you. 
I just couldn't do anything. The Izayoi. How the hell did you know that, Tager? Huh? Uh, I was there. I saw it. I see you're back to normal. You're right. It was all Izayoi's fault. If it hadn't gotten in the way, I could have given you such magnificent orders. Right. The radio wasn't working, was it? They say that Izayoi steals light. What that means scientifically is that it draws in a specific wavelength, or spectrum of wavelengths, of electromagnetic radiation. Well, not just draws it in, it inhales them, like a black hole. Not even light can outrun it. I see. I guess it was affecting the radio signal of our communicator. Are you sure you want to give out important information like that here, Gokonoi? Sometimes we have to give out important information, or people won't take us seriously. Well, getting back to the issues at hand, what should I have done differently? Hmm. Well, I think you made a bad choice a while back. Really? Yeah, I was, uh, busy at the time, so I didn't pick up on it. Yeah, that sounds good. So, where did I go wrong? Well, you're just going to have to figure that out for yourself. All I can do is give you advice. I've heard you give some pretty specific answers. Yeah, well, maybe. But if you just think about your choices, I think it'll be pretty obvious. Don't sweat it. Well, if that's all, then it's time I got back to my mission. I'll be leaving now. Well, if you start over, then your memory resets too, you know. True, but I'm sure someone will remember all of this. I don't think I've ever seen you be so nonchalant before, Tager. Then again, I guess what I said was pretty vague, too. Perhaps. At any rate, I'll see you in the next world, Kokonoi. Okay. <sighs> and that ends our report for today. Now I'm afraid I'm off to scold someone, so I'll see you all next time. Please help me, Professor Kokonoe! Sir. Oh, Lychee, it's you. Thank goodness. Feels like it's been an eternity since a normal person came in here. Huh? And what is that supposed to mean? Just about everyone who walks in here is a verified nut bar. I've got stuff to do, you know? I can't spend all day giving out extremely valuable advice. Oh my. I guess it must be incredibly difficult for you. I guess it must be incredibly difficult for you to fake sincerity. Th that's not it at all, Professor. Oh, I brought you some cake. Please help yourself. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Uh, mm. Mm, pretty good. As I suspected, bringing the Professor sweets was the course of wisdom. So, Lychee, if you're... then that must mean... Yes, I knew I couldn't hide it from you. Well, you brought me something special, so I've got something special here in my pants for- <coughs> Professor, don't say easily misunderstood things like that. Oh, keep your shirt on. I was just kidding. Anyway, I do have some advice for you. Really? Thank you so much. Lychee, you can't just do whatever your emotions tell you. You do know what I'm talking about, right? Y yes it's just whenever I think about him, I... I'm sorry. Ugh, you're so smart. But when it comes to that idiot, you just lose it. It's really embarrassing. Anyway, with that said, I do have a little something for you. Your gracious and kind professor will lend you a hand. I got you this! Just click and... Blue, Blue Net, Net Shopping! shopping. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you couldn't speak clearly because you were standing in front of the man you love? Well, worry no more! We have the solution to your problem! Here it is! The Arachnadroid! Hey there, Lychee. Oh, something the matter? 
You seem pretty down in the dumps. Oh, hello there, Professor. Actually, there is something that has been troubling me. What? Oh no, that's terrible! What kind of intense issue has been on your mind? Well, there's this guy. Whenever I come face to face with him, I just get so tongue-tied. There's so much I want to say to him, but... I see. That is serious. Fortunately, I have an item that can take care of all your problems. W what That's amazing! Please, share it with us all! <laughs> Don't worry, Lychee! It's not going anywhere! Ta-da! Arachnidroid! An arachnidroid? Now watch carefully. I'm about to turn it on. Just a click! Hey there, baby. It's me, the irresistible Arachne. Wow! It looks just like the real thing! I can't believe it! Right? I know! The Arachnodroid will perfectly imitate the voice of the person you love. And if that wasn't enough, it's also equipped with the latest AI developed right here at Sector 7. Talking to it is like talking to a real person. Oh my! Is there anything that Sector 7 can't do? It can also expand and contract to make transportation easy. If you squish it enough, you can get it into your pocket. That's simply marvelous! With this, I know I can overcome my nervousness. But it must cost a small fortune. You'd think so, but this wonderful creation can be yours for the low, low price of 19,800 PD, tax included. Wow, that's so cheap! But wait, there's more! For a limited time, you can get the special white version with the original version. This incredible limited time offer is only... 39,800, tax included. Amazing! Of course, shipping and handling are also included. I must buy one of these right away! How can I get one of these for my very own? And now, let's begin the experiment. So after all of that, you're just going to drop it without a word? Hey there, you sexy thing. Why don't you and me make sweet, sweet love? Is it just me, or is he kind of annoying? Whatever. Just try talking to Lychee. Gotcha, babe. Hey, Lychee. How about the weather? Great, isn't it? Y yeah I suppose so. Although it's impossible to tell how the weather is from here. Lychee, baby. You think the love from my heart brightens up even the darkest of days? Oh, you were always the hopeless romantic. Um, I didn't say anything like that. It's okay. I understand. You don't need to say a word. I can tell just by looking into your big, beautiful eyes what exactly it is you want to say. Can I blow him up? Professor, you're the one who made this thing. Its personality is nothing like the real things. How am I supposed to practice with this? Yeah, I didn't think he'd be this much of a pain in the ass. This thing's a failure. Now, come on, don't be like that. Professor, you know that I'm your finest creation. Shut it. Here's a Tata Robo. Go play with it somewhere else. Well, he did look like him, so I guess... Anyway, bottom line is, I wanted to tell you that you need to calm down before you make any rash decisions. Just do your best next time, okay? Okay. But weren't you totally against what I was going to do? <sighs> Actually, I'm a robot too. My name is Kokonoe Robo. What I told you isn't actually what Kokonoe thinks. Beep beep. Goodbye. Professor! My goodness, she's so stubborn! This may be just a bonus feature, but it's still no reason for her to just phone it in like this. It looks like she isn't going to be coming back, so... 
Goodbye, everyone. Help me. <laughs> Professor, go, go, no way. Hello there. It's the irresistible Arachne. You available? Piss off! Why the hostility? Why must you say such things? Bullying is so passé. Well, uh, because you're, you know, are you sure you're the, uh, right one? Well, the last episode ended on such a high note, so I thought that in everyone's memories, I'd be more like this. Who the hell's memory is this? Oh, don't sweat the details, babe. And anyway, isn't this version of me much easier to deal with? I guess that's true. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you played a key role in this game. See? I thought as much, too. I suppose you weren't crowned volleyball champ for nothing. Oh, stop that! You're making me blush. Well, thanks to your crap, any normal player starts shitting bricks the moment you show up in a match. <laughs> oh, they've toned me down a bit for this go-round. I can only manage 9,000 damage on a 160-hit combo. Kinda sad, really. Say you're sorry. Apologize to Rachel and Tsubaki. Oh, yeah, Professor. I thought that in this section, you'd be showing me how to get the true ending. Don't meet Lychee. That's it. Wow, that was quick. Those boobs spell death for you. That sucks. Still, you were pretty cool when you did run into her. You trying to pull that I used to be a hottie move? I... No... No... Oh, and, no... No... I... Do, Oh, I'm in. Whoa, whoa, nice try, pal. I know you can talk. Don't try and pull that crap with me. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I gave you your hint. Get out of here. I... That... You... With... The dude. Still bugs me that he's kind of... Cute. Man... He must have left something behind. It stinks in here, like sewage. Ugh. I guess I should clean this place up. <sighs> hey, Tager! Tager! You called? You're late! When I call you, you're supposed to appear immediately. That's physically impossible. Aren't you a scientist? And, uh, what's the point of this outfit? What? You look great. Much better than I expected. You turned me into a maid. What possible benefit does this have? My research has shown that this sort of character appearance contrast turns people on. I find that difficult to believe. Oh well. What do you want? Right. Yes. I need you to clean up all this gooey stuff. What is this stuff? It looks dangerous. Like just touching it might damage me. How am I supposed to clean this up? A normal mop is going to be way too small for me. I'll hurt my back. Don't worry about it. Just look at me. Huh? What for? Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Yes, yes. Time to debut your newest function with just one click. What, what, what the hell? My mouth feel... Oh. Here we go. Power on! Suck engaged! Oh, what the Mama! Oh! You sure do suck, Taker! <laughs> what an amazing vacuum cleaner this is! It's powerful and never loses suction, even if you go from thick carpet to tile! You're looking at one of the two most powerful vacuums in the world! I wonder how much more he can suck up! 
My mouth is all gooey. The scientific power of Sector 7 is unmatched. This is a triumph. I don't even have to change the filter. So this is the most environmentally friendly vacuum cleaner ever. I've got to get this into production so I can sell it publicly. Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Master Kokonoe! Who the hell are you? I just met you and you're already trying to be a kiss-ass? Guess you're as loud and obnoxious as the rumors say. Anyway, the exit's over there. Wait, wait, wait! Surely fate has brought us together here. I feel it is fate that we have met. Surely I've satisfied the conditions. Are you... hitting on me? Oh, that's... Wow. I, I can't even find the words. You think you're some sort of ladies' man, huh? No, 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 no! You are mistaken. I would never do such a thing. So you're gonna talk about how this is fate and then try and take it back? Th that was just an expression! He just gets louder the more I screw with him. I almost feel sorry for Lychee now. Ah, yes. By the way, I like pineapple on my pizza. What? Oh, and I like to put raisins in my dry curry. Blasphemy! That's not food! What would you do if Lychee made stuff like that for you? I would eat it, and then commit seppuku to preserve my honor. Well, I guess you're sort of a man. Wait, Master Kokonoe! Ugh, what? God, you're loud. I found my revenge. Why am I here? Oh, well, you probably flipped the switch. The switch? Yeah, you've twisted time into some kind of nasty temporal pretzel. You can't kill the hero, dumbass. When you say hero, surely you don't mean Jin Kisaragi. This man is no hero. Why, he is little more than a cold-blooded killer! Yeah, I know his personality isn't, uh, the greatest. But he is the hero of this game. If he dies, then the Black Beast's worst enemy dies. Hmm. Then when shall I defeat him? Not my problem. Oh. Oh, hey, while we're talking about character and personality and stuff, you did do something bad. Something bad? What did I do? You hit a guy when he was down. Oh. That was pretty dirty, but I guess that's what I should expect from a ninja. This... this is just a misunderstanding. I... I got so frustrated. I'd been chasing him for so long. I just couldn't stop myself. So, you admit it. I'm sorry. Ugh. All you had to do was apologize right at the beginning. Anyway, attacking a man while he's down isn't really like you, is it? How right you are, Master Kokonoe. I shall take your words to heart. Good. So long as you understand. If you come here again, I'm gonna send a whole bunch of ice cream and french fries to Ronin Guy. No. Please. Anything but that! Help me! Professor Kokonoe! Excuse me? Uh, hello? Oh, it's you. And hey, you brought Nirvana too, huh? That's not my sister's name. Ah, uh, calm down, kid. I know what's up. Yes, she's with me. What's up, Nirvana? Glad to see you're all fixed up. How did you know about... Yeah, well, I'm a god here. Anyway, you don't need to be so courteous here. Come again? We take this easy around here. You don't need to have that, ugh, just whatever man sort of attitude. 
Uh, oh, okay. It's really not my nature, but I'll try. By the way, what exactly is this place? Professor Kokonoe's love clinic. L love Yep. Love. L-O-V-E. You can tell me anything. Why do I feel like I'm suddenly under the gun? Oh, okay. Then... Please hear me out. I don't know the why or how of it, but I was thrown into the cauldron and ended up here. Everything after that is kind of a blur. I see. And my sister... was in pieces. I see, I see. Uh... Um... Miss Kokonoe? <laughs> yes? Aren't you being a bit too... remiss about this? No, you just have the worst luck imaginable. I just feel bad for you. I mean, damn. Your luck is terrible. If you keep going like this, your life is gonna be crap. That's a rather cruel way to put it. I don't think it's like that at all. Right, sis? Not you too. I never thought. What should I do? Anyway. First off, we need to start by getting over your gloominess. Um... Am I really that much of a downer? Uh, yeah. Like a mega downer. I really don't see myself like that, to be honest. Can you give any advice? Sure. After all, this is a safe place. A place where you can get advice for achieving the true ending, and a place to have your worries listened to. And made fun of. Um... Sis? She's telling you to do your best. You can actually hear what she's saying? More or less. Dot 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 and all that. Anyway, for a quick fix, why don't you just try and imitate someone cheerful? Mimic someone cheerful? Like who? Rachel. I have this really weird feeling of deja vu right now. Didn't we go through all of this in the last game? And besides, Rachel isn't the most cheerful of people. All right, fine. How about Tao Kaka? Huh? Miss Kitty? I don't think any human could pull that off. D do I really have to be like her? I'm just kidding. Oh, I see. That's a relief. S sorry. Um, is there any advice you could give me to get the true ending? Well, don't take the easy route, I guess. If you make choices that push you to your limits, then I think the path to the true ending will unfold. That seems a little... vague. Well, you're supposed to figure this stuff out on your own. Thank you, Miss Kokonoe. Okay, sis. Let's get going. Right. Later. Good luck. You take care, Nirvana. I wonder what he'd be like if he was actually happy. What'd he be like? <laughs> Look, sis, it's a butterfly. Assist me, Professor Kokonoe. Greetings. What is this place? Hey, welcome back. No, this can't be. My lease to you has been severed. Ah, cool your jets. You came here on your own. What? To the outside world, this might just be a lab. But in reality, this is Professor Kokonoe's love clinic. Clinic? Don't ignore the love part. Love, Hakuman. It makes the world go round. Man, don't you know anything? So had a bad ending, I'm guessing? Ridiculous. How could I make an incorrect choice? What possible proof do you have? Well, people only show up here if they got a bad ending. What? You can be as indignant as you want, but it's not gonna change anything. Damn you, Grimalkin. Threatening me is pointless and stupid. 
This place is surrounded by a mysterious barrier that comes from a mysterious field. And the use of force will not release me from this insulting prison. Exactly. So you'd better just fulfill the conditions. And what might those conditions be? Listen dutifully to the Grimalkin's lecture? Sounds like you know the drill. <sighs> Fine. Lecture me as you wish. You don't have enough calcium. Eat some fish. Are you mocking me, Grimalkin? Idiot. See? You lose your temper at the drop of a hat. That's why you're in this mess. You knew you couldn't win, but you went ahead and fought him anyway, didn't you? What? What proof do you have? That you're here is proof enough. Why don't you just try and get it through your thick skull, you dumb pile of crap? Pile of... Anyway, next time, just suck it up. Grow a pair. And leave the grunt work to the kids. While you're at it, get some calcium. Milk. It does a body good. This... this is ridiculous. How can I let the Grimalkin humiliate me like this? Okay, okay. Don't want it to happen? Don't show up here again. Sounds simple enough to me. You have my word that I will never return to this stinking pit of humiliation and misery. We will not meet again. Man, somebody needs to pull the stick out of his ass. Guys like him are a real pain for these gag routines. Next time I see him, I think maybe I'll make a few... changes. Did you say something? Nope. Nothing. Fine. He was still there. Professor, Professor, acknowledge my inquiry. What's wrong, Lambda? Current location, unknown. Require input as to current location. Data unavailable. Provide information, please. Well, that's an easy one. You took the wrong path. Assist me, Professor Kokonoe. So now we're going to discuss what happened. You're here because you got the bad ending. Poor selection choice. Understood. Embarrassment routine initiated. All right, done. Hey, wait! Reboot. Ah, oh, come on, Taker. I thought I was going to get off easy on this one. Kokonoe, you can't cut corners like that. You didn't even give her any advice. Well, I control Lambda anyway, so why should I give her advice? No, you need to give her some advice. Why are you pussyfooting around it, Tager? Speak clearly or your friends on the other side of the monitor won't be able to hear you. It's a continuum shift. I can't hear you. That's impossible. Uh. Hmm. Okay, okay, fine. I'll do it. Continue operation. <sighs> Uh, anyway. What? Oh, nothing. I just felt like this... With the three of us here, it's just like the real story. Well, I guess that is true. See? This is pointless. I told you. Let's just call it a day and go home and sleep. Acknowledged. Canceling current operation. Wait! Acknowledged. Switching to standby mode. Awaiting further orders. Kokonoe, please, just do it. Ugh, fine. So, what is it that you want to hear? Normal ending insufficient. Require true ending. Ragna. I want Ragna. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's pretty specific. Hmm, all right. I guess you go after Ragna then. That's it. Hey, are you sure that's enough? Calm down, Taker. So long as she follows the main character, the story moves ahead. I mean, he is the main character. And such a good-looking one, too. That sounds mean, somehow. 
Got it, Lambda? This game is all about figuring things out on your own. Heck, when I was a kid, I used to draw maps in my notebook, too. <laughs> Searching data. Search complete. Mapping. It's in... the walls? Oh, you're a clever one, aren't you? You were looking through my database. All right, that's it. I'm tired. I'm gonna nap until the real world shows up again, all right, Tager? Hey, wait! Kokonoi, this is your show. You need to end it right. Eh, I think you can do it. <sighs> well, I guess that's the end. Good luck, Lambda. Understood. We'll proceed with current data. Lambda will do her best. Hey, can I tell you something? See, I just got the bad ending. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, I'm not complaining. I mean, I finally got to be a playable character in this one, and the developers were even nice enough to write a whole story for me. Huh? You were worried about me? <laughs> That's okay. You're really nice. Thank you, though. I'll do my best. Still, I wonder why I couldn't do better. I wish someone could help me out. Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Well, you're a lively one. Th that's not true. Are all the kids at the library like you? I... I'm sure that's just your imagination. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, um, I just suddenly couldn't see anymore. And when I woke up, I was here. Do you know where this is? Hmm, thank you so much for asking. This place, young lady, is the studio for Professor Kokonoe's love talk. L love On this show, I listen to the problems of all the confused little children. Please, come leap into this ample bosom. What? What's this? Are you an enemy too? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Please don't say things like that. I just want some advice. Stop trying to be such a trendy girl. Oh, I get it. Well, you probably use the Izayoi a little too much, huh? Izayoi? You mean this? Ha! What? No transformation sequence? Due to unforeseen circumstances, it had to be cut. Ugh. I guess we're living in the wrong era. Whatever. Well, that's just the kind of weapon Izayoi is. It pretends to be innocent, but really, it's stealing your light away, bit by bit. Well, the only advice I've got for you is pretty straightforward. Um... You're saying I shouldn't use the Izayoi so much, then? Well... It's not really a question of using the Izayoi or not. You just really need to stop using your flashy moves all the time. I bet money you just keep whipping out your astral heat and going, IN THE NAME OF JUSTICE! Or some shit like that. Am I right, or am I right? Uh, but... But it just feels so good. Alright, I'll be more careful in the future. Is something wrong? Oh, it's just... That went really smooth. All the other guys wasted so much of my time. Oh, right, of course. They all had a hard time listening to someone else talk. I'm sorry to hear that. Hmm. Well, that does leave us with a problem. I mean, we've got to fill the rest of the time with something. Uh... Well, what should we do? I guess we could start by reading off bits of your profile. Let people meet the woman behind the mask. <laughs> But that's embarrassing! Hmm... Let's see here... Drive name is Install. Hmm? I like it. Good choice. R really? Thank you. Please, no order soul jokes, though. <laughs> well, in Blaze Blue, it'd be more like... 
code order SOL, right? <laughs> anyway, your hobby is painting and you like... Yes? You like historical dramas? Yes, very much. Don't tell me that's the reason for all your justice bullshit. Oh, man. Do you call things out like, in the name of the law, or your judgment has come when you're fighting? Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Wings of Justice? Zero Squadron? <laughs> oh, this just gets better and better. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> well, maybe that was a bit much. Do you... Do you really think it's weird to like old stuff like that? Well, no. I don't see a problem with liking it. I just think you might have taken it a little too far. Oh, okay. I'll try and tone it down. All right, then. How about we wrap things up? Thank you very much for your help. Oh, hey. You want to close this out with a little old-school style? Huh? All right. Three, two, one, go! Let justice be served! <laughs> I guess you're just a weirdo after all. How could you say that after you made me do it? Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off. Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Stop already! Stop! Shut up! You're giving me a damn migraine! Huh? Where am I? You're making me say it again? Son of a... <sighs> Mysterious room, sad little lost children, Avalon, nut bars, flow chart, piss off. I... Huh? Forget it. So the mass creeper was bad touching your brain mates, huh? Yeah, that's right. He was pulling out memory after memory. Especially the bad ones I'd hidden away. Yep, I knew it. Betcha he grabbed all your most embarrassing moments. You know, the ones that make you want to cry into a pillow and kick your legs? Uh, I think they were more along the lines of species inequality and... Don't sweat it, kid. We all have a couple of skeletons in the closet. Does that mean... You have embarrassing memories too, Professor Kokonoe? Moving on! Oh man, she totally does! Why focus on the past, right? How's about we just table this topic? Um, if you don't mind, I'm gonna... No. You don't even know what I was gonna say. The hell I don't! You wanna leave, but you can't. Not until you listen to my brilliant advice. Fine. Give me the damn it. Nope. Again! No advice for you until you've explained yourself. Or rather, your shelf. You want me to explain furniture? No, you twit! I'm talking about your tatas, headlights, sweater puppies, your boobs! Who goes out dressed like that? How do you live knowing you're one strong breeze or sudden cough away from a massive wardrobe malfunction? Between lychee's cleavage and your underboob action, we're looking like a damn age game up in here! How'd you end up with them? Are they counterweights to your massive tail? What's the story? Um, I, I really didn't do anything. <laughs> they just sort of happened. Guess it's just genetics! I friggin' love genetics!
genetics. If it has to do with that, why aren't I stacked, huh? Huh? <laughs> Please, Professor. Chill out. What's the big deal? Smaller chests can be nice, too. And hey, aren't things in short supply more valuable than common stuff? Short supply? They'll grow eventually. I'm way older than you, Makoto. Like, if I had them, they'd be down to my knees old. So when's eventually? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Never mind. Just take your damn advice and jiggle on out of here. That's what I wanted in the first place. If you want to reach the true ending, then trust your friends. Cool? And don't lose your fights. The end. Yes, ma'am. Off you go, Tits McGee. Uh, okay then. I was confused for most of this, but thanks for the heads up. The world needs underboob, Makoto. I wish you good luck. And a strong back. Verily, I do beseech you for aid, O learned Kokonoe. Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off. Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Hmm? Where am I? I do hope I'm not having a senior moment. Rachel's guardian, huh? Should have had you bring a mop. Ah, Miss Kokonoe. How do you do? And you give me too much credit. I am hardly milady's guardian. Merely a lowly manservant. Still rocking the class inequality, I see. Forgive my impertinence, Miss Kokonoe, but you have aged quite well since last we met. You were taking, uh, sustenance from your mother's... at the time. Jeez. How long ago was that? Cause, spoiler alert, I've been on solid food for a while now. It's been decades. No wonder I'm feeling so long in the proverbial tooth. So, Miss Kokonoe, dare I ask where we are? You've ended up where all lost children do. Those who couldn't make it to the true ending of their story. Ah, yes. For we are all children. Children of life. Was that supposed to be a joke? Indeed. According to the script, it's a real knee slapper. It's a pun, isn't it? Friggin' puns. Soon as you try translating them from Japanese into English, they go absolutely tits up. My regrets. I shall try to be more careful in the future. Let's cut to the chase. In this room, I'm Queen Bitch. One of the six heroes or not, you gotta do as I say. Following orders is my specialty, but what must I do exactly? It's easy. Shut up and listen to what I'm gonna tell you. That sounds reasonable. So, I take it you didn't get the true ending on this playthrough of the game, right? My shame knows no quenching. Hell, it could have been worse. I mean, you encountered a really rare character. And you got a peek at all sorts of secret relationship crap. It wasn't a bad ending, in the grand scheme of things. You're talking about her. Never in a thousand years would I expect being teleported by anyone other than Milady. Do you think she's really... you know... I suppose we'll have to wait until the next installment to find out. Assuming they're not just making this shit up as they go. <laughs> okay, time for some advice. Speak, sagacious one. I'm betting you charged into danger all balls to the wall because you were worried about Rachel, yeah? I don't see how my... Uh, balls 
have anything to do with it. Look, Valkenhayn, Rachel's an adult. She's older than dirt. Just because she looks like a ball-jointed doll doesn't mean she can't fend for herself. Don't be so damn overprotective. Duly noted, Miss Kokonoe. I shall try. Now then, I should probably be on my way. Not so fast. I've got a question for you. And what might that be? What don't I got? Can you phrase that another way? Your grammar is making my eyelid twitch. I've got a long-ass backstory, and the fans can't get enough of me. So, why? Why, uh... Why the hell is it that damned lollies, geezers, and masked weirdos get to be playable characters, and I'm still just Tager's friggin' radio buddy, huh? Huh? I want answers, damn it! Is there some conspiracy at work here? Oh, or did you already fill your flat-chested chick quota for the series? Why, Valkenhayn? Why? B -b Please, Miss Kokonoe, calm yourself. <sighs> How shall I phrase this? Uh, I think they've held off on releasing you because you, Miss Kokonoe, are their trump card. The proverbial ace in the hole. Trump card, huh? Oh, yes, quite. You are their ultimate weapon, to be made available only at just the right moment, you see? Ultimate weapons? F yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the trump card! An ace in the hole? I get it now. The blaze blue suits have been plotting this all along! Uh, that's exactly right! As soon as the game's popularity starts to decline, that's when they'll lead you into the spotlight. You will take the stage, Miss Kokonoe! Not merely as a playable character, no, but as the savior of the whole franchise! <laughs> the savior of the franchise! I've always known! Suck it, haters! Crisis averted. For now, at least. Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off. Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Hey, show some respect, runt! You start snoring as soon as you get here? <laughs> huh? What the fuck? Works every time. Did, did you just kick Luna, you harpy? That's totally gonna bruise! Good job, Professor Child Abuse! Luna, this woman looks like she knows where to hide bodies. Let's just quiet down. It's not my fault you triggered the bad ending. Sooner you shut up, the sooner I drop some knowledge and kick your scrawny ass back out the door. Pearl of Wisdom the first. Wake the hell up so I don't have to kick you. Huh? What in the hell are you going on about? Are you stupid? Retarded? You wanna die? You little bitch. Where the hell are we, huh? You slipped Luna and Mickey so you could bring her down to your lair and do all sorts of kinky H-game crap to her. 
I can see it in your deviant eyes, you crazy broad! Huh? I'm feeling sleepy again. At least I'll get to kick her again. Damn, why'd I wait? I'm terribly sorry about that. So, you're the big boss, huh? I suppose I should introduce myself properly, Miss Kokonoe. My name is Trinity Glassfield. I knew it. We have met before, come to think of it. But you were so young, you probably don't remember a thing. It's vague, but I remember a bit. A pleasure to see you again in that case. At the moment, I'm making do within a small corner of Platinum's mind, squeezed in under Luna and Senna's souls. So, you're squatting in there, basically. Jubei has raised these children from a very early age. How special for them. I don't know when I'll get another chance to talk to you. That's why I wanted to say, I'm so sorry. For what happened, I mean. No need. It wasn't your fault. It's all Teremi's doing. Come on, let's not get all soap opera on the folks at home. Besides, you're here, so I can give you hints on how to reach the true ending. Not open a rusty-ass can of worms. I... I see. Both Luna and Senna are good children at heart. They're just at that rebellious age, that's all. Please, don't be too hard on them. Giving him the belt might knock him right out of that rebellious age, but whatever. I blame the old man. He sucked at child-rearing back in the day, and he sucks at it now. That's not true. He did a fine job. On who? Luna and Senna are fine examples. But I was thinking of the accomplished woman standing in front of me. <laughs> he never taught me anything worth knowing. Bad examples were the only ones he ever provided. Who says bad examples cannot be learned from? <clears throat> Let's just leave it at that, hmm? Well then, I suppose I'll let the children take over again. <sighs> Gosh, did we randomly fall asleep again? Oh, there's not something wrong with us. Nah, you're fine. You were sleeping so soundly, I couldn't even bring myself to kick you again. Watching us sleep? Let us out of here, you freak! Okay, okay. If you want to get to the true ending, you have to follow Jubei's orders, all right? We do whatever Master Jubei tells us anyway, so there! We're done. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Kids these days. Jeez. Come to my aid, Professor Kokonoe. Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off. Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Enchanté. The masked freak. Awesome. Relius Clover at your service, Professor Kokonoe. You must have confused me with someone else, though I can't fathom how. Perhaps the wiring in your brain is amiss. My brain is wired to forget the names of folks I'd love to punch in the nuts. Nothing amiss about that. An interesting augmentation. Apropos of nothing, where are we? 
room. Mysterious room. Paradise. Sad little lost children. Avalon! Seriously, guys. I've said that opening spiel about a million times now. Pay attention! In this room, I'm the queen. You do as I say, buddy. An interesting space you've managed to craft. I must analyze its architecture. Ignis! Hey, keep your tape measure to yourself. I'm in charge here. A bit of silence, please. These measurements must be precise. Hmm. Uh, why am I letting you hush me, damn it? Don't boss me around, creeper. Mm hmm. <gasps> hey, I'm talking to you. There's no need to scream, woman. I'm not deaf. <sighs> that is it. I'm gonna give you your damn advice to get you to the true ending and evict your smarmy ass ASAP. Mm hmm. Uh. Mm hmm. Well, speak. I don't have all day. How is it possible for someone to get on my nerves so much? Do I really have to give you advice? This sucks! Very well. Not about to force it out of you. Mm. Hmm. This is the part where you fall to your knees and beg. I can't leave here without your sage advice. Please, oh sagacious Kokonoe, let your pearls of wisdom rain down upon my ignorant brow. Rather gauche, but I can't deny your logic. All right, proceed with the giving of advice. My blood pressure's gotta be off the friggin' charts right now. That doesn't sound like advice. Ugh! Calm, girl. This is your magical, timeless room. You're in charge. Stop being such a shit heel on the daddy front, yeah? That cute little son of yours deserves better. There. That's your hint. Hmm. Hmm. Cute little son. You. You're kidding, right? Um. Your son? Carl? Come on, what the hell's wrong with you? Oh, Carl. Hmm. He is indeed my son. Right you are. Oh, Carl, you poor little bastard. Fair enough. I suppose the progeny could use a bit of affection every once in a while. I presume we're done here. Don't worry about the social niceties, Professor. I'll see myself out. If I never see that idiot again, it'll be too soon. Help me, Professor Kokonoe! All right, who have we got today? <laughs> Here's Teromi! Hmm, so no visitors today? Oh well, time to hit the sack. W w w wait a minute! Come on, man, this place isn't for fighting, all right? Even a jackass like you should be able to figure that out. So get. I'm sick of your green ass. G green Fine. What do you want? Well, I'm not really sure what's going on, but I guess I made some sort of mistake. Crazy, I know, but here we are. And? You're here for my advice? Yes. Well, to be honest, I'd really rather not owe you anything, but... Well, I don't want to give you anything, so we don't have anything to discuss, do we? The door's over there. Don't let it hit your scrawny ass on the way out. Uh, w wait! There's some strange power that keeps me from leaving. P please I need your help. Yeah, you're probably right. They built this damn place so you can't leave until you've listened to my advice. Kind of creepy when you think about it. 
Ah, well, that does make sense, doesn't it? All right, uh, let's have your advice, and then I'll just be on my way. Didn't your mom ever tell you about the magic word? Mm. I give you an inch and you take a mile, huh? Damn furball. You say that again and I'll fill every one of your holes with my special candy! Look, let's be reasonable. I don't want to be here, you don't want me here. So, how about we just do what we gotta do and then go our separate ways, hmm? Hmm... Your logic is sound. All right then, what do you say to a ceasefire? Fine. All right, what's your question? Come on, spit it out. I don't have all day to sit around listening to your crap. What is it? You want to live? You want to show me your true form? What? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, to be honest, I was sort of uh, chased out of my body and I ended up here. But for some reason, I'm still in the um, Hazama body. Honestly, your true form is just really goddamn creepy. Besides, I doubt the girls really want to see that. I guess anything goes here, doesn't it? Interesting. Anyway, what's your advice for me? Any hot tips? No, not really. Huh? Well, your story is pretty straightforward, but that makes this kind of tough. You see, for you, it's not really a question of advice. And by that you mean? You couldn't beat Ragna at the very end of the game, could you? That's why you're here, right? Right? Hey. Don't take this as an excuse or something, but that Ragna at the very end? That sucker is tough. Oh my god, you have no idea. So, I was hoping you could give me some fighting advice, you know? I mean, I've got a lot of fans, and I'm much more popular with the ladies than any of those other chumps. I'm sure a lot of people are getting stuck, and you know, I just hate to disappoint my fans. Hmm... That's not really my specialty, you know? Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. And stop making this take longer than it has to, goddammit. You say something? Uh, no, no. Nothing at all. Hmm. Ragna, huh? He's pretty tough close up, isn't he? Yeah. His standing B just kicks my ass every time. Well, try and keep your distance, for starters. And you might want to try using beginner mode. Just saying. If you can land a hit, then you're pretty much guaranteed to get a combo. Once you get a good HP lead, just run around for the rest of the round and try not to let him hit you. Use your backstep, fly around using your Ouroboros, and be all like, run, run, or some shit, and you should be out of his range. Uh-huh. Right. Well, that's it for now. The only other piece of advice I've got for you is that if you don't get it the first time, just keep trying. I mean, you are a boss character, so it's only natural that your story mode's gonna be hard, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. All right, then, if you'll just excuse me. Bet your ass I will. And don't you ever come back. I see your scrawny ass around these parts again. Don't expect any mercy. <laughs> oh, you goddamn idiot! Really? Seriously? <laughs> like I'd come back to a shithole like this! <laughs> Snap. Huh? What's this? I can't get out! I can't... Hey, Kokonoi, um... I mean, your highness... Your majesty... Please, have mercy on a pork. What's that thing? Shut it. All you need to know is that this baby's gonna send you to the other end of the boundary. Wait! Hold on! Just a... <laughs> Such is the fate of all those who defy a god. And Hazama never thought anything ever again. The end. Goddamn cat! You haven't heard the last of me! Damn you, Coconut!